Hello, I'm Ruth Allen. I'm the Chief Executive of Baswa and welcome to my weekly update vlog. If it wasn't for coronavirus this week, we were due to be hosting colleagues from around Europe at the IFSW Europe Delegates Meeting in Birmingham and also to be holding a one day international conference. And we were very keen to do it this year because it's our 50th birthday in June and it's still our 50th birthday and we will be celebrating it and we hope that we'll be able to host the delegates in October. We promised our European colleagues that the sun would shine in Birmingham and it did but we couldn't all be together to enjoy it. So today we had some time together via technology and it was really wonderful to be with European colleagues. Fascinating and moving to hear how associations across Europe are dealing with the same themes as us with coronavirus. The contexts across Europe are very varied, but the challenges have many common themes from upholding social work values and ethics, upholding people's rights, concerns about COVID in institutions and care homes, and getting PPE and other resources, as well as recognition for the work that social workers are doing. We also heard some common themes about initiative, and sheer kindness and ingenuity of social workers extending their roles and finding ways to keep in touch with vulnerable people. My thanks to Anna Radulescu from Romania, who's the IFSW Europe President, and John Brennan from Ireland, who's the Vice President, for leading the session with our chair, Jerry and me. The webinar will be on the website soon, and IFSW Europe will use the information shared in their work to capture and share good practice across Europe on the IFSW Europe website. So just a couple of other things uh, from me at the end of what seems like a really, really busy week. New guidance this week is issued on adult safeguarding and also working in multidisciplinary and multi-agency settings. So please do look out for that. And I want to finish by flagging that the 28th of April we will be marking International Workers Memorial Day alongside the Social Workers Union, Unison, the RCN, many other organisations. There will be a one minute silence at 11am for all of those who've been lost through COVID-19. So I salute all of you in practice and all of you supporting social workers in whatever way. We need each other and this sad time brings that home. So take care, keep safe and keep in touch.